Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, um, wherever you are. Welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, episode 349. Each week uh, we meet here to answer the questions asked on the SEO Questions community or the Dumb uh, SEO Questions uh, group on Facebook. Um, with us tonight, we only have David Razam. Um, the flu was taking its toll. Um, and uh, I think Tim's still recovering from uh, um, Berlin. And, um, well. I think we only, I think he only drank, um, drank water or something, isn't he? Isn't he someone who's on the wagon all the time? No, Shaq. Drinks, isn't it? Yeah. Drink candies. Yeah. <laughs> so they say. All right, let's let's have at it anyway, David. Um, um, David uh, is uh, a leading internet marketer. Uh, he's based in West Sussex uh, in the, the UK. All right. Um, let me see. Our first question, uh, David, um, uh, you know, number one on the run list uh, is two duplicate pages on different demand, different domains. Uh, Alan Whitten said, guys, my local service-based uh, business uh, straddles two areas. Um, would it be possible to have one link serve and point to two different pages? Um, effectively uh, duplicates with a search and replace on the location names based um, on um, area. So, um, <laughs> browser sniffs London, go to page X, and if it sniffs Essex, go to page B. I hope uh, I am making sense. Uh, if so, how hard or easy is it? Also, will Google punish the site for having two uh, duplicate pages? Apart from the different location names, the rest of the copy will remain the same. Well, um, I think the the idea of um, trying to figure out the IP addresses of the uh, the browser and where it might be looking at and so on and so forth. I'm not quite sure what mechanism you're uh, <clears throat> you're proposing. Sorry, um, I think I've got the lurgy as well. Um, I think forget that you're too close together um, geographically to make uh, any mechanism work. Um, and having two pages, Google will not really punish you but it will forget one of them so you'll only have one uh probably one uh featuring in the SERP. so you need to you need to think very hard about how to make these two pages different um if you you can write about the same thing in different ways so you can you can start off by doing that but then you can also start thinking about what can you make that is geographically um specific and one of the things that you can do is to um is to get some testimonials um from you know mrs smith in essex and mr jones in london north one um if you can if you can do some more, if you can describe what you did in a particular area, mention the location names, that will help make make the uh, the content unique and signal to Google where it's about. Um, you really do need to to do some work on making those pages not duplicated. Yeah. Um, the the other thing too is is that um, if 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 um, his um, um, outcome is really really good, um, it's just a matter of time before somebody uh, 
uh, complains because um, what he's really asking for is, is it could also be described as cloaking. Would that be fair to say? Um, could be, yes. Yeah. And yeah. Um, getting um, Googlebot to um, comply. But, so the problem is that Google Googlebot doesn't crawl in real time. It, it gets a URL, goes away, adds that URL to a list, um, and then uh, if it, it wants to know what's on that page, uh, it'll come back later on schedule and, and uh, get a look at that page. Um, and then it'll it'll um, uh, you know perform a function and it'll come back again and 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 do another another check. Um, you know, it, it, trying to sync up with all all of that um, uh, is it, just too hard. Well, for me anyway. Um, Tim Kappa, um, I see. Uh, he said. Uh, um, use two location pages but make them unique to the area don't duplicate content if they are that close together detecting users uh, location will be problematic and you would not have uh, the desired effect yeah i agree i mean it's not the sort of thing that you you want to frig around with um what particularly when it, it's so easy to do um with the static page um and you know i mean if you want essex people to look at a page just write the word essex on that particular page that would be a good start wouldn't it um anyway i i live nearer to essex than you do jim so i'm not going to say anything rude about essex <laughs> i heard you live in sussex yes i know but uh you know, it's only it's only two or three counties over. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's um, call that a wrap for Alan. I hope it is uh, enough for you, Alan. Um, Nikolai Kalatnikov. Um, uh, he sent a question. He asked us a question last week, and uh, now he sent us a question. Still no SEO results uh, in two months. Uh, Nikolai said, uh, hey, all, we are paying an SEO company 550 Australian dollars per month uh, to have our site rank uh, on page one Google. However, it's been two months and we haven't seen results yet. I have added about 30 YouTube videos over the last few months um, and about 30 blogs a few days ago. Can anyone check out our site and see if it's SEO friendly or if it's on the right track? Thank you all um, in, in advance. And he gives a URL, uh, www.desiren.com.au. Let's have a look at that. Any ideas here with this one, David? Um. I think that looking at the specifics is perhaps not the thing to do. Um, I think the, the main worry is paying an SEO company 550 Australian dollars. That's about 37 UK pence, isn't it? Um, no. <laughs> the thing is, it's... It's it's not, a, not it's not a reasonable price to pay um, for um, serious SEO work. Um, it's on, really on the cheap side, the very very cheap side, and it's one of those things you get what you pay for. Um, and of course, as we said last week, David, uh, uh, that people who you know, guarantee your first page on Google. It's just so simplistic. So, um, you know, if, if, if that's the level that they think at or they work at, um, you really uh, should just run a mile. Um, yeah. so, um, you know, the, yeah. I, I I haven't got time to, to, to look at this and do a, uh, and do an SEO audit on it. Um, 
some people have kindly looked and um, have made some suggestions, and I'm sure that they're <clears throat> I'm sure that they're somewhat better and somewhat better thinking than you're you're getting from your your SEO company. Um, run a mile. Run a mile before they mess up your site, and you have to spend a year or more digging yourself out of the mess that they will almost certainly make. Yeah. Which is what I said last week, wasn't it? I think that's what we said last week. Well, at least I'm consistent. Well, you know, uh, we must be honest, David. Um, um, so we don't have to repeat ourselves if we, if we say the same thing every time. Um, all right, um, uh, Nikolai, uh, uh, again, uh, uh, I, I've just had a look at your site. It's very nice. It looks um, nice. And uh, I'd love to see some stats on it. Um, and, you know, if, 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 um, if you'd like to ask us another question for next week, um, let's see what we can do. All right, let's um, go on to um, our third uh, one. Um, it's from Didier Rida. Um, and Didier said uh, it's time, his, the question is titled Changing the URL Without Hurting Ranking. And Didier said, Hi, everyone. I would like to change the URL structure of my blog. Right now, I have www.mywebsite.com slash category slash postname. I would like to simply change back to www.mywebsite.com um, slash um, postname. Um, sorry, no, you carry on. No, I was just going to say, I, look, I don't know why it wanted to, I mean, change it. it it's going to um he's going to have to fix so many things um and um i just wouldn't do it would you no i, I i'm wondering how many categories there are um you want to merge two categories into one is that two, you have you only got two categories in the on the site have you got 10 and you want to uh, merge two of them into one if that's the case i would just redirect um but i'm not really not sure why you would want to do this in the first place um categories don't do a lot um in terms of the, the, I, i'm just wondering whether, whether the sorry I, I just stopped myself in mid-sentence um i'm just wondering whether uh dda is thinking in terms of key phrases in urls here in which case doesn't help much i really wouldn't touch it i really don't i can't see a reason without dda explaining it to me why you would want to do this because you're going to mess up things and potentially lose some some ranking um with redirects and uh no i i i'm a firm believer in not touching things if it ain't broke don't attempt to fix it yeah well your request has been answered uh, david because if you look at the comments uh on um, Didier's post, Dan mm -hmm. T uh, said, uh, why do you want to change it? Change it, yes. And Didier said that we can you know, merge two categories into one. Um, yeah. So <laughs> am, I right, am I right in saying that um, that, that um, um, outcome uh, is not worth doing? Um, it, it's something that he should... Um, should not change um, because it's more or less impossible to do without hurting ranking in some way, shape, or form. And um, anyone that's linked to the the, the site, um, it will break them. 
Yeah. Anyway. I, I agree totally. Uh, and and let, on on the information that DA has given us here, the answer is don't touch it. Um, unless DDA wants to come back with a more um, a, a more detail filled question, and perhaps we might change what we say, but I doubt it. <clears throat> Fair enough, David. All right, so Victor Ofem asked a question. It's titled 12 Years Old Domain. And Victor said, hi, guys. I found an expired domain that I really like. I've done all necessary research about the domain that, and all of its backlinks um, and uh, checked if it's banned from Facebook and Google Ads too. Um, Yeah. Hang on, what have I done here? You go ahead, David. Um, I'm I, I rather like the idea of a twelve year old malt whiskey, but I'm not sure about a twelve year old domain. Um why why do you like this? Why do you want it? Um you can use it, you can certainly use it. Um, but I I I'm not sure I would ever buy an expired domain. I, I would prefer to start with a clean, uh, a clean slate um, and do my work on it rather than potentially have something come up and bite me. Um, I also wonder whether there's a premium for this domain because it's, uh, it's desirable in some way. Maybe it says McDonald's.com. Oh no, that was a that was an argument many many years ago, wasn't it? Um, no. Uh, if you if you must do it and you're happy with your um, your research, go ahead and do it. You've still got to do all the all the hard graft of making a website and doing the SEO and creating the content. Um, but if it was me, I would start with a brand new, virgin, shiny domain and do my work on it. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I, I see. Um, um that um, Victor also received some advice uh, um, from people who answered through the weekend. I must mention people like um, Michael. Um, I, I, I can't see my, 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 one of Michael's posts um, today. Anyway. Uh, has he got lost in Germany as well? I, I think there's a there's a black hole in Germany for SEOs. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> right. um, let's go to the next. Chris Green. Chris Green, the question five. Always on SEO optimization strategy. Um, and I, I I read the comments on this um, earlier on. Uh, um, so, so the, the thing about forums and, and, and communities is that um, we don't have a sarcasm button. We don't have a means of conveying it. Um, and so it makes it fairly lame when you're trying to provide uh, something instructional. But... Um, I, I, I can do sarcasm live, though, can I? You, well, as long as you explain it, uh, David. No, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, well, perhaps I am going to be sarcastic. I'm going to say I think it means that they can, they think they can phone you 24 7 because you're always on. <clears throat> but I, I actually think Dave Elliott's answer is the, uh, is probably the correct one that they've read an article with that phrase in, possibly an article that says, that you should ask your, um, your your SEO your your prospective SEO agency or SEO supplier uh, whether they supply an always on SEO optimization strategy. Um, I think that um, 
I think Chris Colt's um, question asks them how they interpret it. What you know, what is it they're actually asking? Um, and yeah, I'm I'm not sure. You know, um, Thomas says avoid. I'm not sure. It could be that they're, they're just just a, a bit green. Um, yeah, I, I, I would talk to them more and find out actually what they're about. Not only what an always on SEO optimization strategy is, but get a get a feel for the for the people involved. Um, are are they the sort of people who who build their, their life on cliches and will always be hitting you with something that they've read off the uh, the internet week by week and causing pain? Um, I've had a client like that in the past uh, who would be forever reading something and then phoning up and spending half an hour or an hour of my time trying to trying to see if I was doing that. Um, you don't want one of those. Um, yeah, you know, get get to know them, find out what they're about, and uh, then then figure out whether you want to do business with them. Yep. Well, well, I see that the proper SEO group has a new post from Victor Offim. He said, hi, guys, I found an expired domain. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you think he's got a, an expired domain detector? Me, me, me. All right. Um, look, um, Dennis, um, uh, Chris Green, uh, uh, do you think we've answered that sufficiently? Or... or or not actually i've just read this again um which says a client it sounds as if he's already working with them um in which case if you're already with them working with them just talk to them just work out what they want um it, it's it's not you know it, it's not a void it's it's just talk to your your client um pick yeah. up the phone excellent um this is the one we looked at uh, before we while we're in the green room this morning and we couldn't figure out um what philippe was doing um he was cleaning the search engine results pages of a new client because his website was hacked i cleaned 99.99 percent of of the links but there's still one link and it looks impossible to get rid of. Um, yeah. Um, Philippe, um, it, it's um, something that um, I can't see what you're aiming to do here. Um, if his website is hacked, you, you, you wouldn't be cleaning the links. I mean, when, when, when a hacker um, um, takes over a domain, yes, he does create a whole heap of uh, links, but they come from um, files in the page that aren't generally accessible um to um you when you're uh, you know looking at the site via ftp or uh, um usefully seen um in in a search engine results page because uh, they generally um show the spam links to googlebot and googlebot only um and googlebot dutifully reports them back to you but that, that's no real help um you, you can get rid of um a few that um are visible uh, but you're not going to get all all of the invisible ones um so yeah i think the approach is is wrong um really if a site is hacked and unless you're highly skilled in that area I'd suggest um, some somebody like Securi, S U C U R I. Um, the people that are um, 
dealing with hacked sites um, constantly, probably better off, um, you know, contacting them. I'm sorry, I couldn't do better, but um, by all means, um, repost this um, on the um, the group, and, and I'll, I'll be happy to work, talk about it further with you. All right, let's go to the next, and this one from Vidra Kex. Um, it's titled On Page SEO for Global and Local. Vidra said, uh, hello, thanks for the access to this group. You're welcome. Um, Vidra said, I have a dumb SEO question. I'm working on the SEO of a multi-regional site. Um, and there is a global in English, and there will be a UK specific site as well. And some products we offer only in the UK, but not all globally or in other markets. However, some pages are going to be the on both sites. For instance, the general products page are about us. I'm, I'm wondering how to adjust uh, on page SEO for global and Great Britain, as it's sort of the uh, same page. A few pages will be the same. Should the content then be adjusted, edited, so we don't have duplicate content, or should we have rather a global page and edit a slash GB URL that would redirect to the global one that fits also the GB market? Um, I don't know what I missed that. Um, let me just see that. Um, In case of um, the latter, do I adjust the on-page SEO components to be on a global page only, or do both of the pages still need those details? Also, the careers page is in English, and it won't be translated to any regional language. How does it work when it comes to SEO? What are your thoughts? Many thanks, and any help is much appreciated. Vidra. Um, am I? Okay, we're talking about global and we're talking about UK specific. Um, so I'm assuming that everything we're talking about so far in the first 75% of this question is in English. Um, but then we have also careers pages in English and won't be translated to any regional language. How does that work when it comes to SEO? So it's not just a global site and a regionalization for Britain. We've also got a certain number of other languages. So we've potentially got, I don't know, French for, for France and perhaps French for Quebec. I don't know. Um, so we're not just talking about English and re regionalization of English here. Um, so um, it sounds like there's going to be um, potentially quite a bit of duplication. So it's, it, it's going to be a, a, a task for using hreflang um, and having sections of the site of uh, for the uh, for, for the geographical targeting and the uh, uh, and the language tar targeting, um, so yes, so multi region yes of a multi regional site. It's it's a case of setting up uh, hreflang for the languages and the uh, and the countries um, that will <clears throat> that will look after any uh, potential duplication and messing with uh, messing with Google's brain. Um, you might also think about canonicalization if, if you've got a fairly simple um, setup here, but I would have thought HF, hreflang would have been the way to go. Thank you, David. I see Tim Kappa has joined us. How are you, mate? Yeah, good yourself. Yeah, mate. Yeah. We we um, didn't know if anyone else was coming uh, tonight because of the uh, 
Um, Daylight savings. Daylight saving, yes. There was an SEO black hole in Germany, and no one's no one came out of it. But it, it obviously wasn't that. No, yeah, that was a black hole, man. That was a black hole. <laughs> Yeah. So well, I'm, fin I'm finished on question seven. I don't think there's anything else I can say. Um, well, I, look, um, I, I'm sorry, Vidra. Um, we will. Um, and you, you don't have anything to add to question seven, do you, Tim? Well, so it's not going to be year specific. It's just going to be English. Well, then I just use. Look, I, to be perfectly honest here, no matter what you do to it, Google is going to display that content to, uh, for the relative, you know, for the for the for the user. Um, I'm in the UK. My site is intended for the UK. I. Um, have my language set as the UK. I've got my, um, uh, even in my um, OG cards, I've got it set as UK. I've got it set as UK in, G in uh, Google Search Console, but 90% of my traffic comes from the US. Uh, unfortunately, if your site is in English, no matter what you do to it, Google will turn the site to the most relevant query that they feel that it pertains to, regardless of the country. Um, so you're just going to have to deal with that. But towards the end, it does talk about any regional language. So uh, we don't have regional content. How do we treat a global internet, international site from the SEO perspective? Um, you can set your language, but like I said, regardless it's going to still display it even if it, if google feels that it's specific to a query it will display it for that query you cannot stop google from displaying it uh in a particular country okay all right, um, let's um close that one off for Vita. thanks for that tim by the way um and yes it is that time again um we've answered all of the questions asked on the uh, dumb uh, seo questions uh, facebook group we'll be back uh, at the same time next week uh, to do this um, all again but before we go i must thank uh, um tim and, and david for their um efforts and uh, um also thank that the, the people who answer questions on our uh, facebook group um um throughout the week um their, their contributions are invaluable um i see we've lost uh, michael um um well he's not in any any, any responses this week yeah, i hope we haven't lost him for good what's that david He's probably on holiday. He's probably got his bucket and spade out somewhere. Well, I hope, I hope that's all it is. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll be back, as I said, um, um, in seven days to do this again. Um, but for now, it's uh, good night.